Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata Santa Clara. I'm here with Vince Delano. Vince, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. So you're with Accenture, and you guys work with a lot of companies in the world, um, and you're with the big data group. Are there any industries in the in the world that seem to be in need of big data solutions right now more than others? So I run our global practice around big data, and I have a, a team of uh, deeply skilled technologists and open source technologies and data scientists. And one of the things that we're, the patterns that we've been seeing over the past 18 months, financial services, uh, what we call CMT, which is communications, media, and technology, uh, you know, that's where we see a lot of activity going on, not just around how to mobilize the data internally, but also around things like monetization. So how do I, how do I expose my data externally so that I can make money off of that? Okay, now another thing that, that we touched on briefly was this whole idea of some of the institutions that you work with might be large, like cities and governments and that sort of thing. Um, what is their play in this whole data world that, with you guys? Is it making a more intelligent city and data is the core to that? Or Yeah, it, it's, it's kind of interesting uh, that we're seeing uh, cities, for example, globally, um, wanting to, to understand how they can do business more cost effectively. So there's a, a, a big interest in how open source technologies, you know, how, how these big data technology stacks can come together to, to, to manage uh, a city's operations. And then how do they expose data that's being generated within the city so that uh, entrepreneurs, you know, business people, other people can have access to that data and leverage it for, you know, whatever it is they feel that they need to leverage it. So we're starting to see uh, not just an efficiency play, but, but also a how do we push out data to make um, uh, better communities, for example. We're seeing uh, data and analytics being used in um, uh, the water utilities uh, coming together on cloud platforms, surprisingly, using big data technology stack uh, to, you know, to better uh, manage uh, their wastewater and, and uh, manage the efficiency of their water consumption. Uh, and then, you know, we've done things with uh, cities that you can read about online that, uh, with Singapore. Uh, they've got their Safe City initiative. So how do you take video and other types of data, apply analytics to that um, uh, to provide a safer city? Interesting. So um, you guys at Accenture are likely agnostic about the solutions you recommend to your partners and clients and that sort of thing. Is there a pattern on what you're seeing though as far as like, is there a data stack that seems to come up more often? Do you guys have, uh, you know? Yeah, so the, the big pattern that we're seeing is essentially the emergence, so I'll call it the, the hybrid uh, future state architecture. And so this is about uh, re-looking at how companies are managing and moving data across the enterprise and how they're consuming it. So it used to be that you'd have very traditional relational database technologies that were kind of at the center of that. Now you're seeing more technologies like, like uh, HDFS and HBase and NoSQL technologies and all of those things kind of coexisting together to provide a, a, you know, a, a, a cost-effective, fast, flexible, fungible ecosystem of tools you know, to, to accelerate data through the enterprise so that it can be consumed. Excellent. So where do you see Accenture's growth with the data group in the future? Well, as, so we recently just uh, uh, launched a new organization in Accenture and it brings together our, our um, Accenture Interactive, Accenture Analytics and Mobility together. Yeah. So why are we doing that? Well, we're doing that because we're seeing the, the fast emergence of what we're calling the digital enterprise. I'm sure other people are calling yeah. it the digital enterprise as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. And so what that's forcing is um, digital customers have different demands and they generate more data and the enterprise has to figure out how to work with that. So we're seeing a challenge for how to, how to tool to support that kind of new environment. Um, and the other thing that we're seeing really is less of a focus on experimentation with the tools, although we still see that in some industries, uh, but more of a focus on, hey, help me understand how to drive outcomes that are analytic driven. And I think that's a big focus area for a lot of these companies. And then 
uh, the big pattern now, I think we're going to start moving away from talking about all the little bits and pieces of big data technology stacks. And people are going to really be focused, so, okay, great, now that I've mobilized all this data internally, how do I push that data out to the enterprise? Uh, how do I push it externally? And what does it mean to manage that kind of environment with multi, you know, in a multi-tenant environment with different types of workloads and work patterns? How do I secure that data? And how do I run it at scale seamlessly? So, so one other thing to throw into that, that heap for you is uh, the machine-to-machine -machine data. Yeah. And that's becoming a common theme that I've heard at this conference, people talking about the Internet of Things, Internet of Everything, industrial internet, and you're, you work with GE a little bit on that yeah. sort of thing. Um, is your group going to be involved with the machine data that's coming in from your other groups inside of Accenture? And is the IoT group or the group that is in that, are they in the mobility group or? So there's multiple different groups that are involved <laughs> in these things that you might imagine. Yeah, yeah. So there's, there's groups like mine that are taking this machine to machine data. So it's less about the tooling around putting sensors on things, right? And it's more, right. once I capture it, how do I mobilize it? Um, and, and then you have the mobility practice, for example, uh, providing tools to people that might be in the field working on a pipeline or a piece of equipment. And how does all that data come together uh, you know, on a mobile device, for example. So you're seeing, the, the reason why we created di uh, uh, Accenture Digital is because we're seeing the convergence of those different types of disciplines, right? And they have to work seamlessly together. And so we're a reflection of, of uh, what we see our customers moving towards. And, and the trend we're seeing is the digital, physical ecosystem is kind of blending together now. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And, it's, and it's more about just capturing telemetry data, it's capturing telemetry and then understanding, uh, you know, understanding what are the patterns that um, we're seeing. How can I prevent, if I'm in an oil and gas pipeline, how do I prevent uh, failures that may cause accidents and lead to, you know, lead to injuries? Um, how do I take this data and, uh, you know, telemetry coming off of a car and not just predict when parts are going to fail, but turn that into a customer experience. So I can reach out to my customers and let them know that they are going to likely have a service issue and could they come in. So it's you know blending of those types of things together, I think, that uh, is, is going to be really exciting. Yes, yeah, so one last question for you, Vince, and this is a, uh, from your own perspective, um, if you could uh, solve any problem in the world uh, with data, what would that problem be? <laughs> so many. Yeah, um, yeah, there are. My, my personal opinion is that, you know, for so long we've been uh, a world, we've been a country that has operated in a mentality of abundance. And I think when you start to see how analytics and data are coming together, machine-to-machine uh, -machine data are coming together, it's really about how do I now um, optimize my operations, right? So it's, you know, if you, if you put it in uh, terms of a, 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 a company that makes whiskey or bourbon, right? It's, you know, they're, they're looking at how do I take advantage of the devil's cut and bottle that as another product, right? So it's, I think we're going to see, and I really hope we are going to see, the ability to squeeze more efficiency so that we better use the scarce resources that we have. Excellent. Thank you, Vince. We look forward to seeing Thanks. you guys again. Thanks. All right, take care.